This video features high-end limited edition collectibles and is intended for adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. Last year, Integrity Toys unveiled the True Collection, a slight rebranding of the industry with a bit of IT's vintage line Dynamite Girls tossed in. At the center of this theme is Tulabelle True, the granddaughter of our beloved Poppy Parker, presented here as creative director of her own label. The collection was created entirely by Poppy Parker designer David Buttrey and pattern maker Mark Tinky, who regrettably departed from the company late last year. This marks True as one of his final design contributions to IT. Today, we'll be reviewing the complete set of all six dolls in the True collection, including Big Love to LaBelle True, Shut It Down Lulu Ling, Drop That Ish Tate Tanaka, Mr. Brightside Auden Adler, Hurts Like Heaven Jasper Jagger, and Very Necessary Hollis Hughes. It's been a while since we've reviewed a complete non-capsule IT line, but this collection really spoke to me and I ended up purchasing all of these dolls myself, largely because of their vibrant color palettes and fun fashion inspirations. We'll be diving into every last detail you need to know about these gorgeous dolls, so keep on watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a moment of the adult collector perspective here on Toy Chat. With that, let's begin. While the true line is housed in the standard interior Toys packaging, there's a colorful slip designed specifically for this line. The front reads Tulabelle True and Co, with the True portion set in a stylish font. Since we know David Buttrey is a big fan of K-pop, I'm curious if the T in True is a wink to the TWICE logo. The back of the sleeve has the usual product information and warnings. The outer box reads Genuine Integrity Toys and is made up of a lightweight white cardstock material. These dolls have a split distribution, with four dolls going to dealers and the remaining two available through the W Club lottery process. The dealer dolls were Hollis, Tulabel, Lulu, and Tate. These dealer dolls had a recommended price of $165 each. The lottery dolls, Jasper and Auden, were $150 each. All of these dolls were each an addition size of $800. Unfortunately, these dolls' COAs are not individually labeled. Personally, we think these are a waste of paper if they're not going to number them or even name the product on them. With all that taken care of, let's open these dolls up and take a closer look. First up, we have Very Necessary Hollis Hughes. It seems like all of these dolls are named after song or album titles. Hollis may be referencing hip hop duo's Salt and Peppa's fourth studio album by the same name. Hollis Hughes makes her second appearance as this character after debuting in the 2018 Lux Life The Industry Style Lab. This face sculpt, however, was recently cycled from Janae 3.0 and was even used as Regine Césaire in Gem and the Holograms. In the True storyline, Hollis was brought onto the True team as a member after being a top model. This iteration of Hollis has the FR black skin tone. She has light amber brown eyes with reddish brown eyeshadow. The top lids are metallic gold. Her lower eyelids are painted a light pink color and her lips are painted coral pink. Hollis styles her hair into two large pigtails. They have a bit of a wavy curl to them and there's a bit of product to hold its shape. They look really nice. Her hair is a blend of dark brown and lighter tan brown. She's wearing gold colored bamboo hoop earrings. Hollis wears stylish business attire while keeping things high fashion, of course. David and Mark had mentioned that they hope collectors will redress and play with the clothing, so a lot of these dolls have mix and match possibilities. Hollis wears a cropped blazer jacket. The inside is lined in blue fabric. The blazer has a mini houndstooth pattern with pink, teal, and black colors. 
Underneath, she wears a bra top with a custom printed design. This is based on the Louis Vuitton monogram design, but recreated with IT branding. Paulus has a gold colored double chain necklace with a rhinestone pendant at the center, which is hard to see because the backing is rounded. So mine kept wanting to flip over to that side. I do kind of wish it just laid flat so it didn't keep flipping over. She comes with a yellow flower enamel brooch with a magnetic closure. It's really pretty, definitely dresses up the jacket. She also has two gold bangle bracelets. Check out the blue on her long manicured nails. Her gray denim pants have a ruched waistband. There are working pockets at the sides and rear. The pants flare out at the legs and tighten at the cuffs. She wears sky blue pumps with gold heels and soles. Her alternate hands have nails that match her coral pink lips. She comes with a pair of articulated ankle feet if you decide to give her a new pair of shoes. She has white hexagonal shaped sunglasses. The lenses are purple. Finally, she has a white purse with the IT monogram print. The purse has tan handles and does indeed open up. Next up, we have our main gal, Tulabel True. This version is called Big Love. She is now the creative director of True and is ready to take on the world by storm. We haven't seen Tulabel 2.0 quite as daring and colorful as this one. The last Tulabel was called Trending, and she was the made to order doll that introduced the true rebranding of the industry. Here, Big Love Tulabel is in the sun kissed skin tone, the tannest we have seen her in this iteration of the 2.0 scope. She has intense ocean blue eyes with warm brown eyeshadow and pink on her eyelid. She has a brand new eyeshadow shadow screening that she shares with Sweet Temptation Tulabelle of the Seven Sins online event. Some collectors felt like her original eyebrows gave her a harsh expression. This new screening is much softer. Her lips are a neutral peach pink. You won't miss this Tulabelle in a crowd with her vibrant hot pink hair. Her hair is styled with a single large curl that is swept to her lap. She keeps her hair gelled back and short. We have big love for her adorable heart-shaped pink earrings, but be careful putting these in. One of our heart-shaped beads fell out and we had to use leftover resin to reattach it to the earring. Tula Bell's ensemble is as loud and busy as her schedule. Her big statement piece must be her lilac purple fur coat. It has a black fabric trim and a functional zipper opening. There are silver tinsel woven to the faux fur. The inside of the jacket is lined in light purple. Underneath, she wears a sheer top and a purple corduroy jumper with a skirt bottom. There's a bow detail in the front. The black top has a custom print of different types of stars. Her sleeves are puff at the shoulders. This top is actually a bodysuit, which allows for a more fitted look. The jumper is really cute. We'll be seeing corduroy fabric throughout this collection, and the fabric is perfect for the scale of the dolls. Tula Bell wears dramatic thigh-high boots in orange and pink. The front is laced up in pink string. Fear not, there is a zipper in the back for easy dressing. Tula stands very tall with these platform heels. These boots are made for the flat foot legs. She does come with an alternate pair of high heel feet as well. She comes with a brownish orange handbag with a tiny handle. The front has a buckle and you can actually open it up to store small things inside. She has sunglasses with orange rims. She comes with two silver rings. One of them has a small pink rhinestone. Her long manicure hands are painted hot pink. She comes with a pair of alternate hands with nails that are painted teal. Shut It Down has Lulu Ling making a welcome return after being MIA since 2017. This is only her third appearance. The first being Style Savior, which was one of the very first IT dolls we ever reviewed on this channel. And her second appearance was the White Rabbit themed release in the 2017 Fashion Fairy Tale Convention Style Lab. In this iteration, Lulu is in the FR White skin tone. She has dark brown eyes with brown eyeshadow. Her lips are painted ruby red. She has silver earrings with long panels of red. Lulu has long black hair that's parted off to the side. There's a slight wavy curl to it, and we noticed it's much softer than some other IT dolls. So kudos to this being nylon or saran. We're not good at confirming hair materials, but just trust us, it's very soft. She comes with a bright red faux fur trapper hat, which completely transforms her look. This, in combination with the release's name, is definitely an homage to Jenny from Blackpink in the 2022 music video for Shutdown. Unfortunately, the hat is too small to fit properly over our Lulu's head and required some finagling with the hairpins that came with the hat. We chose to attach the blue fox brooch over the hat, just like the promo images, it's easily attached via a little magnet. Lulu wears a trendy ensemble, perfect for the senior stylist of the True brand. Her top is pretty unique. It has a custom print with colorful letter fonts. There's a wide collar with a ruffle finish. 
There are puffed shoulders and the top crops off just under the bust. Underneath, she wears a mesh bodysuit that has a blue and white checkered print. She has on blue corduroy baggy pants. There's functioning belt buckles, which we attached her belt chain accessory to. There are working side pockets and rear pockets. The pant legs are wide and it drags a bit under her heels. Lulu wears red and blue tennis shoes with black laces. She even has white socks to go with them. There's some cool metallic detailing at the back collar lining. Her cuff bracelet is a great added touch to the rest of her very fashionable look. There's a ball and ring attached. She has a nice silver ring to pair with it. On the other hand, she's wearing two silver square bracelets. She has one more ring, which is a reprint of a sculpt we've seen before on Mixed Media Tiago and Earth Angel Eden. Her standard manicures are painted red and her alternate hands have light blue nails. She also comes with alternate arched feet if you'd like to put her in heels rather than sneakers. She has a pair of red shades with rhinestone decorations, but they don't sit on her face very well. You kind of have to tuck them into her hair to get them to stay. I'm noticing this is an issue with a lot of recent IT dolls. Finally, she can carry a large tote bag with a custom print. There are short handles, a longer strap, and it can open up. Tick Tanaka is always a popular doll when he makes an appearance. This time is no exception. Drop That Ish Tate was a rapid sellout at every retailer. In the true storyline, he's the boyfriend of Tula Bell and the label's head of design. Drop That Ish Tate is in the Hungarian skin tone. He has warm brown eyes and matte pink lips. Tate has flock black velvet hair. The application of flocking is pretty bad. On ours, there's an uneven hairline and a missing portion above one of his ears. He has a fuzzy yellow bucket hat that fits perfectly on his head. Tate's outfit's all about layers. He wears a sleeveless denim vest over his plaid shirt. We love the distressed style of this vest. There are working pockets on the sides. The breast flaps are just decorative. The inside is lined in blue. The plaid button-down shirt has tiny blue buttons sewn along the front and at the cuffs. There are blue buttons sewn on the breast pockets too, but they sewn the pockets shut. Underneath, he has on a white tee. There's an anime graphic with the writing Japanese spirit. It opens in the back with Velcro. Tate wears bright orange corduroy pants. There are two pairs of functional pockets at the waist and outer thighs. The rear pockets are also functional. His sneakers are styled in the three primary colors along with black and white. He even has white socks underneath these shoes and pants legs. We hate tying toys shoelaces, but these look really nice once done. For his accessories, he has on a simple silver ring. His silver watch is quite nice, though the face of the watch looks like a fidget spinner to me. Both pair of hands don't have any painted nails. He has a short chain necklace with a Y-shaped piece. He has black angular sunglasses that sort of fits his face. Finally, the best fashion piece has to be his yellow plaid teddy bear backpack. We have seen the teddy bear backpack several times with IT, but we still can't not get enough of it. There's a front zipper that actually opens up. There are just little black shoulder straps. Jasper Jagger makes a surprise return. The Jasper character and sculpt were part of the Dynamite Girls line that was discontinued nearly a decade ago. The current Jasper 2.0 was used in 2016 for the I Heart MLP collection as Twilight Sparkle. The 2.0 sculpt makes a welcome return, looking better than ever here as Hurts Like Heaven Jasper Jagger. As part of the story, Jasper is Tula Bell's close friend, though they are known to disagree. Jasper is quite the entrepreneur, having created a successful cosmetic line at the age of 20 and is also known to be a social media mogul. In this iteration, Jasper is wearing thick black eyeliner and a brown graphic liner over her upper lids. She also wears layers of light tan and purple eyeshadow over opposing sides of her eyelids. Her pursed lips are peachy pink. Jasper's platinum blonde hair has two long tendrils extending from her forehead, which as many collectors have pointed out is a bit prominent in this release. It feels like she might have benefited from slightly lower down rooting. The rest of her hair is quite long, with one section tied back into a half up ponytail. The bottom is styled into lovely curls. They look quite nice. Her earrings are large hot pink hoops, and she wears a gorgeous rhinestone choker around her neck. Jasper's outfit kicks off with a baggy anorak style navy green jacket. It has functional pockets over each side with sections of yellow fabric sewn over the left one. There's an additional yellow pocket over her left sleeve. The coat has a hood and yellow drawstrings and a yellow true branded trim along the back. More yellow drawstrings dangle from the bottom. The outfit she wears underneath is so cute. She has a colorful camo print bubble dress with black shoulder straps. 
It closes with a nice functional white zipper at the back. A yellow string tie, which doubles as a drawstring for the slightly cinched trim, dangles from the bottom right side. She even wears matching panties underneath. Her baby blue t-shirt has an adorable graphic of a graffiti drip teddy bear below the word hardcore in a stylized font. It has a Velcro opening at the back. She's kind of giving hardcore bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Jasper's calf length black platform boots have several buckle strapped openings down the front. They open in the back with long zippers. Check out that statement ring. It's a tiny scarlet red skull with rhinestone eyes. Love this killer detail and the pop of purple on her nails. If you'd like, you can swap the purple polish for black with her clasping alternate hands so she can be more hardcore. <laughs> She also has an alternate pair of legs with the flat feet. She can carry a lavender crossbody bag with chain attachments and a zipper opening. Finally, she comes with a pair of round black sunglasses. During the original presentation reveal of True, David Buttrey mentioned that this Jasper is loosely inspired by the style of K-pop idol Somi, who I am also a big fan of. Finally, we have Mr. Brightside Auden Adler. Auden is also a returning character and sculpt from the Dynamite Girls line. Auden made other appearances outside of the Dynamite Girls line, most notably Kevin Clark from the industry, which used the 1.5 sculpt. Mr. Brightside uses the original 1.0 sculpt in screening. He has blue eyes and brown eyebrows, with a slight stern expression. His long blonde hair goes just past his shoulders. It has a bit of product and would probably need a wash to be fully straightened. He wears a brown corduroy jacket with lots of pockets. There are two large ones at each side and one smaller one over the left pocket and two additional zipper openings along the trim. There are some silver button detailings at the jacket's trim. Aiden wears a gold tone chain necklace with an oval ring attached to the bottom. He also wears a custom knitted striped sweater in earthy tones of brown, green, gray, and orange. The back, however, is all light blue. There's a hook and string opening behind the collar. His jeans are distressed with functioning pockets at the side and rear. They have a bit of an ashen wash look as well, with splashes of mossy green and yellow coloration. He has gray socks and wears a pair of brown pleather Oxford shoes. They have real laces and loopholes, of course. Auden can also wear a turquoise heart-shaped ring. His statement accessory is a brown headscarf with a graphic print of white dots and what looks like coffee beans. Unfortunately, you have to just tie this large piece around his head yourself, which can look a bit awkward behind his head with all that bunch fabric. His printed brown tote bag reads hello, with a rainbow of colors shooting from below. It has a long shoulder strap with buckles. His alternate pair of hands have gripping pose for his accessories, and he can also wear a pair of brown sunglasses with clear yellow lenses. Each doll comes with a circular white stand base with a metallic true logo. The girls come with a standard stand pole, while the boys come with stands that wrap around their torsos. All right, these are our final thoughts on Integrity Toys' True Collection. The industry, and particularly Tulabelle herself, have seen quite a glow up in this recent rebranding. Although certain characters' screenings do still lean a bit cartoony, which has made the use of certain industry and Dynamite Girls sculpts a bit polarizing, I definitely think this collection has a broader appeal across the board. These dolls are also incredibly detailed with loads of layers, accessories, and mix and match pieces, which offers the bang for your buck I'd expect to see at these price points. It's crazy that the current 2024 upgrade dolls share the same pricing. Although many design concepts here are rooted in 70s fashion, these dolls don't feel dated in the slightest. I really love the added touches of K-pop inspiration, which helps add a lot of modern flair. It's long past due for IT to have an all-out K-pop themed line. I hope we'd all agree that Miss Tulabelle is eating up this era. All of her recent releases have been fabulous, which is a stinging reminder that I'm really going to miss Mark's design design contributions. The bubblegum pink hair on Big Love is to die for. Her whole color story is just delectable. I also love how, like many dolls in this line, her statement fashion piece, in this case the sparkly coat, really switches up her look. Tate seems to be the most popular doll of pretty much every line he appears in, and I can see why. He has a gorgeous sculpt and a killer fashion sense. 
easily one of the biggest highlights in this collection. I mean, that bare backpack paired with the fuzzy hat and distressed denim, so cute. I love that his long sleeved flannel gives him a bit of a preppier look, but if you remove it and just pair his anime tee with the vest, it has a bit of a streetwear edge and it just feels so different. My one critique is the problematic application of his hair flocking. So I think that hat will be staying on to cover that up. And how could any blink turn down a Jenny doll? But seriously, Lulu is so much fun. Her outfit is amazing. I think one of the trendiest and most dynamic ensembles I've seen in recent history on an IT doll. She's a super fashionable feast for the eyes. I wanted to fall in love with her fur hat. It's just so frustrating that it can't sit on her head properly without a bunch of yanking and pinning down. I noticed that even in some of the promos, the doll seems to be posed holding the hat in place. Jasper is a cutie despite that five head, <laughs> though her especially cartoony face may be a tougher sell to collectors who prefer realism in IT. Her gorgeous diamond choker, bubble dress, and the adorable tee would be fun to share with other dolls. Her amazing ring deserves an extra shout out. It's funny that from afar, it kind of looks like Spider-Man, which I feel like also fits her aesthetic. I didn't originally think Hollis aligned with my tastes, but in person, she's really beautiful. Her seductive screening and perfect curly pigtails made her pop as soon as I saw her in box. It's really fun that she looks very fashion industry corporate with the jacket on, but as soon as it comes off, she's ready for the runway. I'm a big fan of all her LV inspired pieces. Auden is probably my least favorite by default. I almost skipped him. He's definitely the most overtly 70s looking doll in the collection with a lot of earthy muted colors. His hair is an odd length. It's like it can't decide whether it wants to be long or not. This particular midway length can be hard to wash and style at doll scale. It seems to want to always fan outward at the bottom. So I wish they would just committed to the aesthetic and made it a bit longer. That being said, he looks very Coachella ready and his distressed jeans and cute sweater are standout pieces. As one piece of general feedback, I think it's time for IT to update their male sculpts to have better head articulation. It feels like all they can do is barely twist back and forth. Also, almost all of the sunglasses in this line were wobbly, flimsy messes that do not stay on the faces, or in some cases you can't even keep them on their head. So these accessory sculpts might need tweaking as well. Overall, I absolutely love this collection. It's a great value and is a very appealing group of dolls. I can't wait to see what's next for Tula Bell and crew. We better see more of them in the future. I have to say I love the rebranding of the industry and the idea of mixing in characters from the Dynamite Girls line into True. I always felt like the industry had potential but needed a little bit more personality to distinguish itself from New Face. Ever since they discontinued Dynamite Girls, IT really needed a line that was modern and youthful and I hope True can fill that void. I'm pretty excited with the idea of including some of the Dynamite Girls like Jasper and Suki and potentially more sculpts like Rufus and Danny making a return with new screenings. Which Dynamic Girl sculpts would you hope to see again? This true collection really makes an impression and showcase what to expect from the line. The price point is extremely fair in comparison to the current IT prices of their other lines. I know in a way this line is a successor to Dynamic Girls who had an unbeatable price point even back in the day. But I believe there's a lot of value here with this collection. While I know we will never be getting the Dynamic Girl price point again, I think collectors will be happy with what you're getting with True. David really loves his male dolls and you honestly can't get more dressed dolls than his design arms. Hot to the touch Bellamy Blue, both Sergio from the Poppy Parker collections, and the boys in his collections are decked out in layers and accessories. It really makes you reconsider what you're actually getting with the Monarchs. Tula Bell is really the standout here. I'm a big fan of the 2.0 sculpt and have all the iterations of it. This one definitely will be a favorite in my collection. I'm so happy Jasper made her return. I love this sculpt. I just love how much personality it has. She does have a rather large forehead that could use a lower hairline or bangs, but overall, I'd love to see her as a regular character that shows up in future collections. I really hope David continues to make True a colorful and hip line and take even more inspiration from K-pop fashion. I will definitely be collecting.
All right, we worked really hard on this video. It took a very long time to put together, so we really hope you all enjoyed it. Definitely let us know your thoughts on the Integrity Toys True Collection in the comments below. Our full Integrity Toys playlist will be linked on screen here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Let us know what you want to see reviewed next, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.